Keon Keller signed a deal with the San Diego Padres. He announced on his Instagram. And this Padre team, what an offseason it's been for them. And now they're building that bullpen up. We're getting Mark Melanson a few days ago. And now Keller coming here to the Padres. And it's a good move, Kelly. He's been a pretty good reliever throughout his career with a 21 and 11 career record with a 3.24 ERA. And obviously, he's had some closing experience in 2018 for the most part, Keller. This year, maybe he could get a shot at a few saves or take over if he beats Melanson out in spring training. But the last couple years, Keller, he's been good in 2018 between the Pirates and the Texas Rangers. He was 3 and 4. What a 3.29 ERA, 24 saves, 52 winnings pitch, 66 strikeouts, a 1.096 whip. 2019, he went back to Pittsburgh, 2 0 record with a 2.12 ERA. He only had one save, 29 and two thirds, 33 strikeouts, and a 1.011 whip. And then last season, he only appeared in three games and pitched two innings. Three strikeouts with a 4.50 ERA and a two whip. So Keller, he's 28 years old, is the veteran reliever now. And he's got good stuff, a high fastball, good breaking ball stuff. Like I said, he had some closer experience in 2018. And it wouldn't surprise me if he becomes the closer or Melanson goes down early in the season here for the San Diego Padres. So Keller, on the season, they're projecting him to have a decent year. 2-2 two and two with a 3.77 ERA, 3 saves only, 31 innings, 33 strikeouts, and a 1.226 whip. Keller, we know he's been injured a few times over the last couple seasons, but I think he could be a good arm for San Diego. I'm surprised he lasted this long on the free agent market in the majors with a few days left before spring training opens up for pitchers and catchers Wednesday or Thursday for most ball clubs, but it's a good move. For San Diego, like I said, and as far as fantasy baseball goes, if Keller does win the closer spot or Melanson goes down before the season starts here in the next month or two, I think he's definitely worth the guy to draft in the middle rounds, 12th to the 15th round, where close is really the start go off the board. He's on a great team. They're going to score a lot of runs. The Padres, one of the better teams, like I say, in the major leagues, top three or four probably. And if he gets opportunities, he's going to be great for fantasy owners if he's the closer. So Keon Keller signs a deal with the San Diego Padres. And the Padres keep loading up and we'll see what he can do for San Diego and fantasy owners if he has value in the upcoming 2021 season.